the whack. With, got two touchdowns off kickoffs this year. We are just about underway on the blue. Final game of the regular season underway. Martin lets it go through the end zone as does Titus Young and the Broncos will take over at the 20 yard line. And it's first points against Boise State in ball, three years. Ball will be placed at the 33. 43 yard attempt is wide. Next into the game, he'll play slot, he'll play receiver and tight end. And he's got the ball and room. The local product, Kyle Lipa with a huge game, knocked out by Jonte Green. Try to skip the maximum two team rule and take four teams from the Big East. Second down at 15 now, pump fake from Moore. One on one coverage. Young, touchdown. Young going one-on-one -on -one with Devon House, and Titus comes up ahead. Todd Lee's got a burner, too. He can go. Backwards pass. Bullock. Intercepted. Brandon Thompson comes up with a circus catch. Leaping high over Marcus Allen for the... Now seven of eleven for 107 yards and a touchdown. Second and ten. Avery with a lane. Jeremy Avery across the 40 to the 37 yard line. And with Potter. So it's double punt returns. Wilson says back away. This is a short one. Takes a Bronco bounce and it is going to be down at the 32 yard line. Down at six. Wind starting to pick up a little bit. End around. Young still on his feet at the 20. And brought down at the 13 yard line. That worked so well this year. Direct snap to Potter. Looking for the end zone. Avery touchdown. They like to call it, you know, the the Bronco Wildcat. Pitch, Burrows on the throwback to Moore. Double pass. Complete to Efa. There's the Bronco offense. Yeah. Wildcat with Martin and Avery. This time it'll be the, the direct snap to Avery. Avery fakes the end around and he's got a seam across the 10 to the eight yard line. Field. Michael Atkinson in there too. Martin with Atkinson leading the way. Touchdown! That's what happens when you run behind Canadian Bacon. The 45. Jeff Fleming is the quarterback. He's got the ball on the keeper. And he's got room. To the 30. And knocked out of bounds by Wilson, but not until he had gotten to the 25-yard line. Down to the six, and there's a the ball's down. Aaron Tevis see, says he's got the ball. Well, the refs are blowing it dead. Kyle Wilson says the Broncos have the ball. And the back judge says the Broncos have the ball. Boise. More. Once again, Epa. And that's close to another first down. There's the screen. Looking for a seed. And Potter's knocked out of bounds after a big gain, and there's a penalty marker on the field. Uh, he was dragged down out of bounds. It wasn't a rip. He is not in today. Tommy Gallarda splits out. They have to get across the 25 for the first down. Moore with all kinds of time again. Directing traffic. Complete. Ethel. 
has the first down. First half here for Kyle Lipa. Kellen Moore on the blitz to Avery. Avery to the 10, five. They're gonna mark him at the four yard line at its first and goal Broncos. Second down and four. Pitch, Martin. Touchdown. Doug Martin with a second one today. Field passing situation, third and three. Across the middle complete. That's Kirby Moore, and he is brought down across the 40 to about the 43 yard line. The blitz. Young tries to make a move and has the first down. That's a pickup of 10. Along with Garrett Pendergast. Garrett Pendergast is in a pass route. Across the middle, there's Burroughs. To the 20, 15, Mitch Burroughs. And that's a big play for the local product brought down by House. They're showing their power formation here. Pitch to Avery with blocking. Avery to the five, to the two yard line. It's the fullback with yeah, Martin, yeah. pitch to Martin. His third touchdown of the day. And Dan Paul leading the way once again. Paul had three last week. Martin has three this week. That Kellen was out of the game. Their universal signal has now become whenever Kellen puts his stocking cap on, he is out of the game. And there goes Doug Martin up the sideline, and he is going to go all the way for the touchdown for the Broncos as they go up 41. Nice and, uh, play call, Zach. Thank you very much. I can see very well down here on the sideline as he ran right by me. Anyways, getting back to Kellen Moore. Continues to look good, favorable fumble. Problem between the center and Coughlin and the Aggies have the ball. Aggies got the New Mexico State ball. Regardless, second and goal, quarterback keeper, and he's in. Trevor Walls takes it in and the shutout. And now they are looking to the BCS and saying, it's time for your guys to do your job and we will know tomorrow night at six o'clock the Broncos unbeaten again and in all likelihood headed back to the BCS it's a final at Broncos Stadium 42 to 7 13 and 0 Chris Peterson and his Broncos, and the field is being stormed. Let's go down to Zach Wilkin as the field is being stormed. Zach, we hope we can hear you. Congratulations, 2009 WAC champs. He can finally say it. One goal down so far. Check. Four, yeah, kid. Art played well. We love our fans. This is a good time for us. Doug Martin, huge game for him this afternoon. Talk about his monster done, especially since coming from defense early in the season. Yeah, he's a warrior, and uh, nothing he does surprises us. Check, check. You can hear the chant right now for the PCF. What is yes. the message? What, are you getting the message now? I think our play speaks first. We'll we got faith in the system. And, uh, check. We'll find out shortly. Appropriate that Richie Brockle and Kyle Wilson are part of this, able to take part on their final minutes and moments on the blue field. Yep. They are. Is everybody on the team doing the, the hook em horns now? Hey man, What's yeah. going on? Go Texas, man. Go Longhorns, please. <laughs> Cold, all y'all do is take care of business. I'm going to be rooting for y'all all day. I love Nebraska to death, but I'm trying to go to that Fiesta Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> a lot of hook em horns you can see leaving here tonight. Because again, as we've been talking, if Texas takes care of business tonight, you have to think that Boise State is Fiesta Bowl bound. Yeah, Carl Benson made a point that it's not over uh, as far as where they would go. It could be Miami, it could be New Orleans, but uh, you know, the natural fit here 
is Phoenix and Glendale. Sombreros are already out. We're going to take a short break, but we've got more celebration here on the blue. WAC champions for the seventh time in eight years. Give us a call, Arizona. We're ready.